You know, I did a podcast uh, last night about R. Kelly. I don't regret talking about it. I feel bad, I, I, and I'm, I'm going to be honest. Let me let me let me talk about that uh, along with uh, a couple other things in my mind. This is DJ Wolf Live. All right, guys. Um, like I was gonna say, I um, uh, I kind of feel sorry for R. Kelly. Um, because uh, Gail King did ask him at one point yesterday uh, that he had. Uh, she said, "You know, the question was, uh, have you uh, you were sexually molested as a child?" He he did. He answered it. He, he, he owned up to that. So, I'm not giving him a pass or anything at this point. I mean, for a guy like R. Kelly, who been as big as he was, he should have got some help. Professional help. He really should have. I'll be the first to say that. Wholeheartedly. Speed up. Speed up. You should have got some professional help. This fool's actually speed. I was speaking catch up with me. Oh, yeah, I don't drive to catch up with you. I'm trying to drive to get to work. These people ain't driving like you got no damn sense at all. But anyway, uh, but yeah, he uh, he needs professional help. He honestly does. He needs professional help. And I'm, I'm not kidding about that. He needs professional help. He really do. He needs professional help all day long. And the reason why I say that. Is because you can see it. You can see it from the reaction that he had and all of that. R. Kelly is he's in, he's in big trouble. He's in big big trouble. And uh, he really should have uh, gotten the help a long time ago. He wouldn't be in the predicament he, he's in right now as an adult. What got him in trouble, like I said before, was marrying Aaliyah. He never should have married Aaliyah in the first place. Aaliyah's mother kind of did play kind, dismissed the fact that she was didn't really know about it. And I'm pretty sure she did know. You know, I, I don't know why, but I got a feeling that she did. But that's another whole story. That's another whole issue. And uh, just wondering about the fact that uh, why people think that he's not going to go to jail. He's going to jail. That's that's ten counts. No money. Broke. He's going to jail. Best believe that that's gonna happen. You know, he can say all oh, what, what he want, why it's not gonna happen. He's going to jail. I'm gonna die in my mind like that. But um, for certain, he uh, he's in big trouble. Uh, he's, he already went back to jail last night for child support. He owes uh, a well over almost two hundred thousand dollars in child support. Uh, that's to his ex-wife, um, Drea. But I wanted to not just talk about the thing about R. Kelly. I wanted to talk about how the media, the lamestream media, is vilifying uh, black celebrities versus the way they do white celebrities. First of all, it was Bill Cosby, you know, and they stayed on that for a while, and uh, they got what they wanted out of Bill Cosby. Bill, Bill, Bill Cosby served, I think, a, a seven to ten year sentence. Knowing he, he'll, you know, he, there's a good chance he could die in prison. That shit was deliberate. I don't care what anybody said. That was the liberal all day. And you can tell me, oh, it's not, not, it's not that way. It was like that way from the get go. It was, it was deliberate, you know. We all know Bill Cosby definitely cheated on his wife. That's that, that's pretty well documented. But to sit there and you know, get him all of charges, you know, it was only actually uh, one woman they actually got him got him locked up for, from my understanding. 
you know, that's the only one that they actually had any quote unquote legitimacy uh, or allegedly had any legitimacy to. Allegedly. And even I heard that was some bullshit. But it amazes me how aggressive the media is with all that stuff. They vilify our black men to the hill. <sighs> to a point, even when you're a victim, an outright victim, they will vilify you in the courts. I mean, not only the courts, but in the media too. Trayvon Martin, a, a prime example. He was murdered. Two rounds pumped in his chest for just walking home, minding his own business. All right? By a guy who was told not to bother. He was given a lawful order and he still got away with it. And yet, Trayvon Martin was a thug. No proof that he was, it didn't matter about he was a thug or not. But he actually was not a thug. He was, you know, he, he had, you know, a couple things going on. And he smoked a little weed. That makes him a thug because he smoked weed. And I, and I, I had to get on somebody's ass about that shit. White guy, that. Co worker, that. Put him all where he was a thug. I said, just because he smoked weed doesn't mean it make him a thug. I had friends who smoked weed in high school that weren't thugs. They weren't nowhere near thugs. They were nerds. You know? But white kids do this shit. You got white kids or nerds who smoke more weed. You don't call them thugs, though, do you? You know, I just it just irks me, man. See, when it comes to us, we're they, they dumb down on our intelligence, and that's really what they're doing here. You know, they're saying, yeah, R. Kelly was a brilliant this and that songwriter and all that, and singer and uh, musician and all that, but he still won by shit. You know, Bill Cosby, genius, very educated man, he still won by shit. Michael Jackson, talented. Uh, singer, songwriter, musician. He still won by shit. This is what they do. They vilify us as not being by anything from the start. This is the same thing they did with Trayvon Martin. You know? And Trayvon Martin was a victim. And they still vilified him in the media. The media, the lamestream media ain't about shit. Never trust the lamestream media for their fucking word about anything or anybody. All they do is lie on people, man. And they will lie to get uh, 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 stories sold that's sensational. Like with R. Kelly. They're going to be all over this R. Kelly thing. Best believe on that. It's going to be a media circus. It's going to be a huge trial. Oh, yeah. They're going to amp. They're ramping up for this already. The mainstream media is ramping up on this shit. <laughs> and the thing that I hate the most about it is the fact that they always... See, when it comes to... Their white counterparts, it's not gonna happen. You know? And it, 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 it just irks me. And it's obvious how racist the media and the courts in this country has gotten over the years. It is obvious as I don't know what you got cops going, uh, uh, having charges dropped left and right for shooting. In some black man. The one that I can't un understand was the one that happened out in New Orleans with uh, the brother, the 30 some year old brother, who was cold blooded murdered by two white officers. Talking about he was he was he was fighting him. He wasn't fighting him. He was pinned on the ground. And what y'all did because you couldn't put the handcuffs on the guy, you shot him. He pumped two rounds into the guy's chest. I wish I'd have kept that video up. I had an actual copy copy of that video. And. It's a damn shame that I'm not gonna try out race shames on this road. You know, it's, it's 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 a damn shame that those guys got away from both cops got off. And this is in uh, what Baton Rouge, New Orleans, Baton Rouge area. I'm still trying to figure that one out. And they uh, a lot of those guys got off on uh, little or nothing when it was cold blood murder. You know. It, it, you know, it was so obvious. And that was on video. And it got all. You know? I'm just tired of all how all these uh, all these black men and women and children are being brutally murdered by people who are supposed to be out to protect us. I'm still talking about that shit. Yeah. 
and and other people with impunity. It makes no fucking sense to me. And it, you know the laws just want run a foul. <laughs> the laws ran, uh, you know, it just just run a foul completely, and people don't care. They don't care. Pirates be don't give a fuck. You know. Yeah, you ain't supposed to talk about it. I'm talking about it. Like I said, this is for all the here. Okay? I should have renamed my channel back to For All the Here. I actually have a For All the Here channel. And I'm going to um, actually do some commentary on that real soon. You know, I will be. I just haven't got started yet, but I got a couple of videos on now, but they ain't, they, it's nothing like what I'm doing right here. But I will be. I, I, will, I will be relaunching that soon. But nevertheless, you know, it, it, it's, I, I just get angry when I, you know, I see about these stories where these people are getting off of just, you know, killing black people with impunity and, and not doing any time for it. You know, in Cleveland, I, I meant to talk about this, in my hometown, uh, Tamir Rice, who was murdered by a cop about five, six years ago, uh, well, I think it was, well, anyway, several years ago uh, I think he was trying to uh, oh that's what happened the police uh, was at the, uh, the I guess the uh, whatever the police union is or somebody's trying to they're trying to actually uh, get the charges on him whatever charges he they did have on him oh they're trying to uh, roll roll it back on him. I said something to do with him being fired I guess he got fired from the apartment and they're trying to get them to, to, to rescind it get him reinstated. Why? You know, this is a guy who killed a 12-year-old boy in cold-blooded murder, and it got off anyway. He didn't even do any, any time. The moment he could do no time for killing that boy. You know, or the two people who was murdered over on my side of town over in East Cleveland by Br a Brillo. You know, 140 some odd rounds. Not one round was fired at those officers. Not one. Not one. Matter of fact, the, 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 the two uh, people who died in the car, who the car was shot by murderously by those cops, didn't even have a weapon in the car. Or uh, with the guy in uh, uh, California, where the cops got off, you know, that young man didn't even have a gun. Didn't even have a gun. Yeah. They went looking to kill a nigga. That's what they excuse my friends. That's what they did. You know. And like I said, young people today ain't gonna put up with that bullshit. They will not. And they should not. Or that young boy who got harassed at the mall for selling uh mixtapes. They wanna throw him in jail for selling mixtapes. Are you serious? This this was recently. People are losing their fucking minds out here anymore, man. And I'm talking about white people. Losing your fucking mind. You know? All this shit y'all trying to do with impunity is just, it's just not right, man. It ain't right at all. And y'all know it ain't right. But y'all don't care. You know? Y'all don't care. And I ain't gonna stop talking about it. I will never stop talking about it. As long as I can help it, I will never stop talking about it. If I stop talking about it, somebody else won't talk about it. Believe me. You know, this is a wake-up call. You know, this is y'all wake-up call, too. You know, let's tell you, because this is bullshit. You know. <clears throat> now, one thing I'll say, and I'm gonna uh, go ahead and move on for right now to the next uh, uh, podcast, which I'll do later on. And I know people are my like, well, uh, Obama. If it, what if Obama be elected? All oh, this wouldn't happen. Uh, newsflash: This would have happened. I, I, you know, there's some things I can blame Obama for. 
I can't blame him for racism. Racism exists long before you knew who he was. Well, long before you knew who he was. Everybody knows that. So you can't blame Obama for racism. Not that, that's BS. Never blame this man for something he couldn't control. And that's racism. Now, could he, could he have fought it? Absolutely. And he wanted to. He could have fought it. He could have fought it all day. He did. He would. You know, that's the problem I had with him. The stuff that was in his face during his tenure, he would not fight. He wouldn't fight at all. That's the problem I had with him. If he had fought the mess that was going on with all those mass uh, police shootings of uh, unarmed African American men, women, and children, I would have given credit. He never lifted the finger. He never lifted the finger. As a matter of fact, during the Baltimore riots, uh, during the, uh, the abuse of uh, and the death of Freddie Gray at the hands of police, six police officers. Guess what? Obama referred to uh, people of Baltimore who were upset about it and rioting. He, he referred to them as thugs. Yeah, he absolutely did. <clears throat> the problem with Obama is he never fought back when he when we needed him to stand up to injustice of a people who his part of his lineage came from, he backpedaled. That's the problem. That's the number one problem. He completely backpedaled. You know? He was showing his country, man, people, you know, that we would back down just because Massa wanted that to happen. He didn't want to fight. That's what pissed me the fuck off about Obama. I, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I had to. I had to be honest about it, and I am. That's the number one reason why I, I kind of lost a lot of respect for that brother, among other things he did and didn't do. You know, the biggest letdown that I, I, outside of that. By not fighting back up police brutality, was the injustice that he saw in Flint, Michigan, and did a, did did nothing about it. You know, your own your own kind ain't your friend all the time, and, and in that case, he never was. And that's what really, lack of a better word, breaks my heart, man. You know people who believed in the system of democracy and justice have been let down time and time again these so called democrats who supposedly about the people about freedom about fighting social injustice they let you down time and time and time again. They continually doing the same bullshit. Time and time again. You know, the same people. You know. That's why Bernie Sanders got thrown on the bus. A Bernie Sanders punk ass uh, talking about what are rep what about what are reparations? Motherfucker, you know what reparations is, bitch. You help your own people out with reparations. Now you go on something and we ask you about it. You dumb as you don't know nothing about it. Because you have no intention of getting involved to help our people out with reparations. You're a phony. That's another thing I want to talk about right quick. Bernie Sanders is a phony. He's as big of a phony as uh, Kamala Harris and Hillary Clinton. Yeah, I said it. You know? As Hillary Clinton, though, right now she don't have a snowballs of a chance anymore. I heard that she's she's like, I'm not going, I'm not going to be running. So, and she shouldn't run. 
I wouldn't vote for any witness, bro. You know? Now, I saw a comment from uh, somebody on YouTube last night who actually was, he was riding for uh, Bernie Sanders. And he was like, well, now Bernie who? Dude, proof's in the pudding. Bernie already said he's not going to support uh, a, a demand from the people. He already said that. If he's not going to ride with you, don't support him. Any politician, I'm sorry. Any politician who's not going to support you, don't ride for him. Period. And I'll say it. I don't give a damn who knows it. Any politician. Because right now, they're not doing very much. The, the bulk of them aren't doing a very good job of supporting you anyway. You know. That's real talk. I couple like I said, well, now Bernie Sanders, who? Who? Now Bernie Sanders. I'm going to tell you that right now. You know? The first thing on the agenda that people want you to, uh, to rep them for, to represent them on, is the one thing you, you, not only uh, would you not talk about, you play dumb about even knowing what it, what it, what it was about for us. You don't know what rep reparations uh, mean for African Americans, and your ass needs to then we need to cancel your ass and not vote for you. Yeah. You got black people talking about, well, we ain't got no other, other choice. Yeah, you got other choices. Make other choices. That's what you fucking do. Stop making excuses. Well, if not Bernie Sanders, well, get the fuck out of here, nigga. And I follow this guy, dude. I say, I ain't gonna say his name. I'm not, I, I don't want to throw him but I don't even know, know YouTube. Not that it matters to me, but just saying, I ain't got time for them YouTube beef. You know? And I've had a, I've had a few of them. They just have been that... You know. Anyway, to make a long story short, uh, I, uh, you know, I'm just tired of niggas caping for bullshit. Uh, there was somebody who I heard recently just caping for uh, Kamala Harris and my black man, stupid for not for uh, throwing Kamala Harris under the bus. No, she threw herself under the bus many, many times over. You know, yeah, and uh, you know, just saying, Kamala Harris is she just running, she just running into power, she's not running for the people. I don't know why the hell you will put a poster out, the most misleading poster I've ever seen for a politician in my entire life. Talking about. And there's no joke. You can look it up. Talk about Kamala Harris for the people. Get the fuck out of here. You of all people should be saying no bullshit like that. You are not for the people. You are not. That's a lie. You are not for the people. You're for yourself. You're for power. How the hell you? How dare you say some bullshit like that? I'm serious. You know? Well, Bernie Sanders, we're going to shut your ass down the same way we did Kamala Harris. We're already doing it. What it is, is your uh, your uh, minions or followers and whoever, dick riders, don't want us to say anything about it. Yes, we're going to say something about it. Bernie Sanders, man, if you ain't going to represent the tangibles for us, the reparations, like you did for your own people, then move on, buddy, because I'm not voting for your ass. You will not get my vote. I promise you, you will not get my vote. You know, and this is a guy who I once liked. I liked. I used to like his policy, but you know, when if you're not going to rep represent uh, what we want as policy, then you don't need to be in. All, you don't need to be running. Nope. To sit there and say you don't know what it means. Come on, this is more the games that the, 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 these people play. You know, y'all play dumb to everything. You know, they play dumb to racism. They play dumb to uh, uh, racial bias when it comes to shootings or whatever. You know, they play dumb on everything. And it, it's, it's bullshit. I'm sorry. It's complete bullshit. It's complete BS. They play dumb to all kinds of stuff. And we're tired of it. You know, but I had to use Bernie's. Sanders is an example of what's been going on in this country the last several years. 
when it comes to uh, race and racism. Everybody plays dumb. You know? They ain't serious about us. Bernie Sanders pretend like he's serious about us. And then you got black people still trying to rep, rep this dude, man. After what he said, really? And you don't check him? And then you got somebody about, uh, another, another YouTube about, uh, uh, I, I support some type of uh, reparation. No, I support reparation, period. The YouTuber tried to double down because he know Bernie fucked up. He know Bernie, Bernie know what's wrong by what he said, but he's going to just say, well, I support some type of reparation, not complete everything about reparation. No, I support reparation period for us. You know? Sorry. You know, when our neighborhoods, have, we've always had poor neighborhoods. We've always had double-digit inflation. We've always had double-digit uh, 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 high unemployment rates. You know, we always had the inferior schools and everything else. And you want to tell me we don't deserve reparations? When this country once I didn't even, uh, it was against the law in this country for you to even be, have an education, let alone read. Come on now. Don't you fucking tell me we don't deserve reparations. Get the fuck out of here. And then somebody going, well, that's wrong to, you know, be wanting to get reparations off the backs of, of, of people who who, had, uh, who, are, who know who, who had died from slavery. But that's the whole point. The point of we are descendants. You no, know, our people's country, uh, 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 many of our people's country are descendants of slaves, former slaves, who never got a chance. That's the whole fucking point. And today, people are trying to, you know, do away with our rights and our freedoms and our lives with Im with with impunity. That's why reparations are fucking important. God damn it. We're tired of being being fucked with, man. We're tired of it. Seriously. And those people who, who talk about uh, uh, who, who ride with Bernie on uh, what does reparations can get the fuck out of here. Seriously. What that bullshit, man? Don't want to deal with you. Period. Don't even talk to me. Period. ridiculous that's pretty much all I gotta say guys I just wanted to get that off my chest and just let you know how fucked up the media really is and how they pick and choose who they want to vilify who they want to determine is is more of a, a, of a criminal or perpetrator than somebody else when they're all doing the same thing you know this one that the one that distinguished that and how we are constantly getting thrown on the bus no matter what. I had to put all that out there, guys. This is DJ Wolf. I'm out.